another video okay and this is about being light-skinned yes would y'all believe it i know right i know i know i know i know well, let me help i apologize to my subscribers y'all i've been like m.i.a for a little bit there's a lot of stuff that's been going on okay in the world y'all know like I, said, I got okay. some things going on in my own life you know what i'm saying um i had to take a pause Okay, my mental and my spirit and my soul is very, very important to me. So, um, sorry about that, y'all. But anyway, back to the video, okay? Scratch all that. <laughs> so, look, check this out. So, being light-skinned, okay? There are so many stereotypes about being light-skinned, okay? Um, and I just want to touch on some of these things. Just some of them. Not all. And I can't do everything in one video. But I can definitely talk about it, all right? So, look, check this out. Spice, y'all know who Spice is. Y'all watch Love and Hip Hop. For those of you who, who don't, Spice is a Jamaican artist, okay, <laughs> from Jamaica. <laughs> y'all mom, okay, and she's basically talking about how she basically wants to elevate her career. Um, she's having a hard time doing so because people want her to change her image. I, I feel like when they say change your image, they mean something else, but she's taking it as it's her skin complexion which um you know spice is a very beautiful let me let me just let me just say this okay cuz i i'm not kissing nobody's booty this is exactly what i feel so i think spice is a beautiful woman um her skin complexion is so immaculate that's the part about having melanin in your skin <laughs> like it's flawless like, she don't even need as much makeup as she puts on her face. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, because she's so chocolate, she be wearing all these bright-ass wigs. You know what I'm saying? So, they probably like, hey, you might want to tone it down just a tad bit, right? But she's like, hell no. Why should I have to change my image of who I am? You know, I should just be who I am. And y'all should just accept me for who I am. So, whatever. Skin complexion is the focus of this. At least that's where, where she, that's how she feels. I can't say if that's the actual, like, if that's really what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, to me, that doesn't really, I don't really think that's what they're saying. But I'm not in these interviews. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sitting with these people. I'm not listening to what everybody's saying. You know, I feel like Spice might want to just tone it down. She's very passionate, okay? And she's a firecracker. She's kind of feisty. So somebody needs to be a little more softer with her. You know, but she's very stern on what she feels and she believes. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you just kind of got to understand her. You know what I'm saying? got to understand where she's coming from, okay? Black people are passionate. Mommy, what? Can I have a first Yeah, let me finish my video, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, give me a kiss. I got to finish my video. You got to get out. Hello. Okay, hello. I can see it here. No, get out. Okay. I'll get you a fruit snack. Sorry, guys. My baby. <laughs> so, anyway, um, besides all that, okay, you know, I'm not on the interviews with her. I don't know what these people are telling her. She feels it's about complexion. So, in Jamaica, they bleach your skin and they get praised for it. Sad, right? Um, very sad. Whatever. Um, so, she feels to cross over and to be in, you know, America, she has to do that. It's harder for her because of her Jamaican accent. You know, it's harder for her, for people to understand her. It's harder for people to connect with her, you know, and that's a problem for her, you know, and I, I understand, I understand, but it's more about, to me, I think she should embrace her, herself, her accent and everything about her. Like, you know, of course, coming from a different country, you have to work a little harder, you know, back to the complexion thing. So she says a lot that light-skinned people are privileged she says that, he, you know, she was going off on Mimi. You know, Mimi gets the end of the stick all the time. Um, basically, like, you know, you don't understand. You're privileged. You're light-skinned. You don't have these problems. Okay? 
you know, that kind of offended me just a little bit. But then I understand, like, when people are talking, I feel like people take it so personal when people say certain things. Yeah, there's things that people say and you'd be like, damn, <laughs> girl, hold up. But then there's times where people say things and it's like, all right, all right, I see you and your feelings. Let me really hear what you got to say. You know what I'm saying? Like, take the personal stuff out and really listen. Like, I really want to understand. You know what I'm saying? So... She said that we're privileged, right? I beg to differ. <laughs> yes, but I feel like light skinned people go through their own struggles because you either not light, you're not black enough, or when you're hanging out with white people, you, your ass is black. <laughs> like you're still black. It's like, like it's crazy that in our own race we got racism. I don't understand it. I'll never understand that. I'll never understand it because I think black. If you want to just call it black, if that's what you want to call it. Um, but any melanin is beautiful. There's all different types of shades and beautiful skin tones. And no matter how dark you are to how light you are, you know, it's beautiful. It's really what's going on inside of you to me that makes you so beautiful. Anyway, for those of you who don't know, my dad is chocolate. Like, my dad is chocolate, okay? He is... Um, he prefers light-skinned women, okay, and he prefers Hispanic. If you ain't Hispanic or light-skinned, that's his, that's his per preference. That's his preference, right? Hispanic or light-skinned women. But <clears throat> he don't like white women. And um, most of the women that he's been with were light-skinned women. Um, he's married some um, chocolate beauties. That's what I'm going to call them. Okay, <laughs> he's married some chocolate beauties, right? But most of the women that he prefers is either light skinned women or Hispanic women. My father didn't raise me to love black people. He didn't raise me to love black women or like like being black. He taught me about the awarenesses of being black and um, racism and how you know it's the white people and anybody who had parents from back in the day know what I'm talking about. <laughs> It's the white people, okay? <laughs> I'm, I shouldn't laugh at stuff like this, but I find everything funny. You did. I was going to junior high. My father took me to, uh, I believe it was like orientation. My father wasn't as involved as I would liked him, as I would have liked him to be. Um, only because of his upbringing, okay? So take that in note. A lot of times when you hear a black man say these black bees and all this other extra... Something happened to them when they were kids, okay? <laughs> let's just let's just recognize the problem right off hand. That way you don't get offended because a lot of times I had to learn, because my dad has said it so many times, where when the dude is saying he's black bees, da, 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 you know, he ain't talking about me. <laughs> he is not talking about me. He's talking about somebody else, and it ain't me, so I ain't going to take it personal. That's what I had to learn, okay? So... He told me, he said, Nene, don't y'all call me Nene, okay? So he says, Nene, you're light-skinned, you're beautiful, and you won't have a lot of girls that like you because of it. What? <laughs> so I'm like, Dad, what do you mean? I'm, what are you talking about? Because I'm excited. I, this is a whole new level for my life. I'm going to junior high. Um, I get to meet new people. Oh my gosh, you know, now I'm a junior high student, you know, like you're nervous and anxious at the same time and excited and scared and all these different things, right? And then your dad's telling you people are not going to like you because you're light skinned. Huh? I just didn't understand it. I didn't understand it. It really hurt me. It broke my heart and I was just like confused, but he was right. And since then I had issues with my own people. Not understanding why, you know. I went through a lot of different things. I got bullied. I got made fun of. I got picked on because of my skin complexion, because of my lips, because of different parts about me that I didn't understand. So I, I didn't like myself until I was a, a senior in high school. My mother was an in the picture, okay? And that's another thing. I'll share that with you guys. So my mother, let's talk about my mom just real quick. My mom is lighter than me, okay? She's very fair complected. So fair, I thought she was white when I was growing up. So my mom was in the picture when I was growing up. My father raised me. And when I asked him about my mother, one day I asked my dad, 
you know, is my mom white? My dad cussed me out, smooth out. Basically, I'm not messing with no white women. That's not it. What are you talking about? Blah, blah, blah. He went in on me. Your mom is not white. She's black. And I just couldn't understand that. I couldn't understand it. I could not understand it because she don't look black. You know, I'm thinking because my father is black and he's darker tone and he's raising me that all black people are like my father. You see how mixed up that shit is? I mean, that just is crazy. It's crazy. And my dad didn't really understand even why I asked. You know, he just was like, you know, she's not, she's black. You know what I'm saying? But my my mother's side, they got all kind of stuff going on with them, okay? There's like a lot of different things. that It's like a pot of a whole bunch of crap. Like if you want to make gumbo, that's my family. We are pot of gumbo on my mother's side, okay? Because there's like so many things that <laughs> is in the pot. <laughs> so I'm, I'm yearning to understand my family history because it helps me understand who I am. As an individual and it helps me set the tone for my daughters because I'm raising girls and I want them to understand who they are where they come from so, you that, know I'm trying to reach out to my mother's side of my family I love talking to them because they they always just bring light onto myself my personality how I am who I am why I think the way I think like I know my personality from my father right my father is very upbeat he has a lot of energy, okay? Lots of energy. Very charismatic. I mean, he can talk you into just about anything, okay? Okay? He's a smooth talker, okay? Quick, fast, you know what I'm saying? Hustler. You know, he makes money. He'll go out and he will work, okay? And that's a man that will work. Um, my father is strong. Like, there's things about my dad that I have, right? I have certain characteristics of my father. My mother, on the other hand, she's more of my chill side. You know, she's more of the peace, love, you know, type of person. You know, she's really um, free-spirited. My mother is, um, and that's my mother's side of the family. Like, a lot of my family on my mom's side is kind of like that. You know, everybody's like, chill. Everybody's like, you know, easygoing. Um, they're, they're a pot of so many different things, and um, I love that. I love that about my mother's side of the family and it's just it's good to understand where I get that from so no matter if you're light dark whatever skin color you are if there's black in you uh, no matter what you are okay if you got melanin in your skin you're black okay or you're melanin <laughs> y'all like that you're melanin okay and it don't matter. You're still a Negro in all these people's eyes. It doesn't matter, okay? Cause I'm not discrediting Spice for how she feels, okay? She's entitled to feel how she feels. With all that being said, ladies, embrace who you are, okay? Ugh. Forget all this extra stuff, okay? Whether you light or you're dark. If your sister's in need, help her out. It's, you know, I don't understand that. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we all won, you know? I don't know, you know? I'm more about unity. I'm more about coming together. I'm more about peace. I'm a, uh, That's peace on earth. Peace in my mind, peace in my heart. You know, I need to have peace within myself. It's not about what goes on around you. It's about what's inside of you. So, you know, when you feel some type of way about someone that's light-skinned or someone that's dark-skinned, understand their story, where they come from, their walk, you know, their backgrounds. You know, before you start chewing down their neck, you know, or making them feel some type of way because they already feel some type of way. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't make it worse. You know, enlighten them. You know, show them how beautiful they are. You know, maybe if Mimi would have showed Spice how beautiful she is and why she's beautiful, she probably would have took that a little different instead of telling her about all the shit that black people went through. <laughs> That's just my idea. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But hopefully, y'all, this brought some awareness to y'all. You know, and I touch on some stuff. You know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comment box about how y'all feel about this story or these stories or what I got to say. Negative energy, leave that somewhere else. Okay? You know, I'm not with the negative stuff. 
all right you know what i'm saying and i want love love y'all oh if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel stop playing with your life okay don't play with your life subscribe welcome my friends i love you guys thank you so much for all the love and support it's all good